What's up guys? It's Valley and I'm back with another milk and tea video. I am currently working on a backdrop. It's a wreck back here right now, but things are changing. My nails are changing. Like they're popping off one by one all today. Like I need to get them done this weekend. My phone's not even working. Like certain parts of the phone won't touch and like tap. So bear with me you guys like hopefully by the end of today I will have my new phone and my new iPad and things will be back in action oh my hands line around the corner line them up the block and over sometimes I even stop the smoking when it's time to fall my shade now welcoming Kennedy say hi baby Oh, I wanted to give an update because last week we tried a new product, which was the Newbie Fruit Popsicle Molds, and they were amazing. These handles are uber perfect for her baby little hands, and I made strawberry puree and mango puree. Kennedy is obsessed and loves her popsicle. Like, I'm going to show you guys a clip of her eating. <laughs> big thumbs up to newbie because now my daughter loves strawberries and mangoes and i'm about to try different recipes for the first one i just literally pureed strawberry and then i already got some pre-bought pureed mango pulp which was 100 percent just mango nothing added no sugar added no sweeteners nothing and then i froze it put in the popsicle mold in the newbie mold and boom they were done in like a few hours they were a little bit tricky to pull out i would just run a little bit of cold water at the rim of it so that it would kind of loosen up and then you'd be able to pop them out real easy but kennedy ate the whole thing the whole thing <laughs> She's now finally got her first two teeth. They're at her bottom. She doesn't like me getting in her mouth or anything like that. And I don't blame her. Like, I wouldn't want anybody in my mouth either. But I've been trying so hard, you guys, to get a picture of her bottom teeth. And it just has not been working out. But it's gonna happen. Like, fortunately, thank goodness she hasn't bit me. Like, she'll tug here and there, but she has not bit me as of yet. She hasn't been having a fever still, which is great. Now that her teeth are coming through, I don't think she's going to get a fever for her teething. I think she's good on that. She just loves cold items. So I always make sure I have a teething thing in the freezer. Her grandma um, on her dad's side just got her some more teething rings that she's obsessed with. And they're super cute. Like I need, I should probably go grab them so I could show you guys how adorable they are. So normally the teething ring that I have is this one, which is can find at Walmart anywhere. Just these, and they come like in a pack of three or four in different colors. And the ones that her grandma probably got was this wand, which is super cool because this is the frozen part where it's ice and like she can gnaw on it. And it has like a rattle on it, so it makes noise. And it looks like a magical wand. She's already trying to snatch the other one, you guys. Here, have this one. And then the other one is like an ice cream. So it's super cute. be tearing it up. And anything cold she'd be gnawing on so it's great for her to have multiple ones and the fact that they like have like these rattles in it makes it more engaging for her because she loves her rattle as well so yay grandma probably or should I say grandma probably because she'd be buying the cutest things for Kennedy period like she'll always be getting these little gift bags and little knickknacks for Kennedy with hair this hair thing is actually from her grandmother probably as well dang just threw that to the left yeah, so teething rings, always keeping it fun for her. So she's always having something in her mouth. And it also keeps her from wanting to like be on the boob. Because I noticed that she wants to be nursing more frequently. Not because she's hungry or wants to be around me. But because she just wants something in her mouth to pull on. So I'm always making sure that I have little toys that she is comfortable with gnawing. So thumbs up. If it's not my phone, which she has been in non-stop, you guys. Like my phone is messed up. Probably because baby girl, but that's okay. So yes, teething rings are super clutch for Kennedy. 
she's able to hold her own cup she always like her cup of water still taking absolutely no bottle honestly I gave up on you guys I don't even give her a bottle anymore I don't even try I don't try to give her milk or anything like that just water outside of drinking um breast milk because it's it's a done deal she's almost seven months and like a week so it's pointless at this point to like try and push her for a bottle my goal is to nurse for up to two years like if I could do a year and a half I will be happy but if I can hit two years I'll be even more happier I'll probably wing her around 22 months so that I won't go any further than two years because I really want to get my boobies done yes I see it I want to get my breasts done so I'll be vlogging about that too for next year. Already been saving my dollars because a girl's trying to get a new car, a new place, and some new tits. So, so she's starting to eat a lot more too. She'll probably eat about three to four ounces of baby food pureed vegetables or fruits a day, and I'll feed her before I nurse her. So she's literally trying to jump for it. It's important to feed your baby food before you nurse them or give them any milk because you want to make sure that they're actually interested in eating the food in full and they're just getting topped off by the milk because they aren't going to get full just off of our breast milk anymore. So Kennedy's eating good things. She has no problem eating vegetables and all the green stuff. I was worried because, you know, we you start with fruits first, which is sweeter naturally and she loves vegetables as well, so. My baby likes to eat. She likes to eat, huh? I haven't been pumping in a while, but I've still been producing plenty and plenty of milk. My boobs get engorged. I promise you for my next video, I think it'll be cool to tell you guys all the crazy things that breastfeeding mommies experience. Like, what are the craziest things that you have to deal with? Ooh, it is a journey, you guys. I still produce a lot of milk, especially if I'm apart from her and working for like a few hours. They'll be like super full and she won't even drain them all the way. She'll get full before she can finish all the milk. So I think I'm gonna start pumping again just so I can have like cups of milk for when she gets older and not have to give so much cow milk when she turns one. Cause when she turns one, she'll be able to have cow milk, but I'd rather just keep giving her breast milk and see if I can pump more so that she'll have breast milk even if I don't nurse her and she's not on the boob, you know? But she's the sweetest baby ever, you guys. She'll get restless here and there, but I think it's mainly because of her teething right now and she's having a growth spurt. Look at how tall she is. She's a tall girl. She loves standing. Her legs are super strong. She sits on her own right now. She holds her cup on her own right now. It's just she literally if she sees something on the bed or on the floor and she's sitting down and she wants it she will die for it you guys like she will jump right in and <laughs> go in face first it's crazy she will get what she wants so i am very confident that she's going to be crawling within a couple months and walking in no time because this girl is eager to get her hands onto things if you're eating something in front of her she will try and snatch it from you if you've got something that looked pretty to her, she will try and take it and look at you like, you know that's ours, right? But yeah, my daughter has been advancing super quick and I'm just super excited to see how she grows into a young lady. Already started putting together a little collection for her so she can have all these high-end kicks. So when Kenny starts walking, we'll do a Kenny's closet little video and show about her wardrobe and her shoes and all these little pieces that I've been putting together for when she's able to walk around and really wear these outfits. Like I've been getting denim jackets, leather jackets. I've been getting her some bomb kicks, J's, everything, just collecting stuff so that when she's a little baby girl, she can be my little tomboy slash valley girl like her mommy. So um, let me know if you guys have any ideas for the next video you want to drop below. About time that i kind of been shopping for myself. So I have a Target haul and a Goodwill haul coming up. So I promise you guys, just be patient with me. Just be patient with me. More stuff is coming. Thank you guys for the love, the support. My goal is to get to 750 subscribers this month. So please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and give this video a thumbs up.
But yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick update you guys, let you guys know what's going on. Sorry that I haven't been posting as much. Once I get new equipment and new software, then it will be a lot more easier. This tripod is really old school. I don't have a Bluetooth little clicker or whatever to turn it on. Like I have to press my phone and everything. My phone is old as heck. It's like an iPhone 6 or whatever. And yeah, so just bear with me, you guys. I'm getting an iPhone 8 Plus soon. I'm getting a new iPad, new equipment, new lighting, new background, everything. I'm going to have a little studio set up so that I can give you guys amazing content all the time. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for hearing um, what's going on with me and KJ. And I'll see you guys next video. Yeah. Russell Simmons wanna pray for me too. I'ma pray for him cause he got me too. Thinking what if that happened?